Hi everyone. Today let's discuss WHO Labor Care Guide. It is a tool that aims to support implementation of the WHO recommendations published in February 2018 called Intrapartum Care for a Positive Childbirth Experience. It aims at efficient monitoring with early identification and treatment of complications with an aim to reduce maternal deaths, stillbirths and neonatal deaths especially in low resource settings. It is to be used for all women in labor starting from the entrance into active phase of first stage of labor and to be used in all health facilities including primary, secondary and tertiary care centers. It is a guide and not a substitute for good clinical judgment and it is intended to ensure quality care, safety and avoidance of unnecessary interventions in providing supportive care. This is what it actually looks like. It is somewhat different from a routine partograph and it consists of seven sections the first is about the initial patient details second mentions the supportive care given to the patient third about the baby's condition fourth the woman's condition fifth labor progress sixth medication and seventh is shared decision making it is plotted in time format given here and the hours of active phase of labor up to 12 hours marked here and in case it's more than 12 hours you take a separate sheet and this is for the second stage of labor we have a, an alert column given here wherein you have to first assess the patient, record your findings at any particular hour, you have to compare them with this alert column and in case everything is fine you continue monitoring and in case it is something alert or active intervention mode then you have to manage accordingly. A bit more detail. In section 1, you give the patient's full name, parity, spontaneous or induced onset of labor, date of labor, date of rupture of membranes and if it is unknown, it is mentioned as you, then any obstetric, medical or social complications or high risk factors. Supportive care is regarding companion present, pain relief, oral fluid and posture of the patient. If companion, pain relief and oral fluid intake is there, it is marked as yes. If not, then no. And if declined by the patient, then D. A no is to be taken care of. Similarly, for posture, patient should be freely mobile marked as MO. And if she is supine for a longer time, it has to be taken care of. Regarding the baby, you have to see the basal fetal heart rate over a minute. Any decelerations have to be marked as not present, early, late or variable. Then late is to be taken care of. Amniotic fluid is intact membranes, clear, meconium or bloodstained. Meconium and bloodstained are alarming. Fetal position, posterior or transverse are alarming and anterior is okay. Caput and molding in 3 plus are significant. Regarding the women's condition, the pulse rate is to be counted over a minute. BP has to be noted. Any tachycardia or bradycardia. Any hypertension or fallen BP. Rise and fall in temperature, urine protein and urine acetone are significant. Labor progress is marked as number of contractions, duration of contractions, cervix is marked as X in respective cell, descent of head is marked as O in respective cell. These are the alarming points. Regarding medication, you have to mention oxytocin in detail. It is not being given or given in what units per liter and what drops per minute. Any other medication not given and if given then the name, dose and route of medication, IV fluids, yes or no. This all is monitored at decided intervals. Finally, you give an overall assessment as per the total findings. Any additional findings not mentioned earlier are again mentioned here. Then you explain everything to the patient, informed decision making or a shared decision making is done and then you record your final plan whether it's continuous monitoring or any tests are recommended or augmentation of labor is decided or a procedure like rupture of membranes or a cesarean section, whatever it is marked in respective columns. This is a brief overview of WHO labor care guide. Thank you.